Hi and welcome to A Rice Cake Creations, I'm Sarah. On this tutorial we'll be making these delightful hydrangea flowers which are great on their own or great as filler flowers. They're really easy to make and I'll be using my vegan gum paste so if you are new to sugar crafting or you're looking for a simplified way to make these this is a great tutorial for you. So let's get started. I've got laid out here five hydrangea cutter sizes but I'll only be using the first three. I've also listed in the description box my vegan gum paste if you need that and the rest of the equipment is also listed in the description box. I've also provided a free template for this. Use some 28 gauge florist wire cut into thirds. I coloured my vegan gum paste this lovely shade of apple green from light to dark. I find by colouring the gum paste in this way makes the hydrangea arrangement look really natural. You will need to pinch off really small ball size amounts which will make up the hydrangea centre. You can have lots of these set aside in an airtight container as you work on each flower. I prefer not to add a hook in the wire but if you have problems you can brush on some glue or if your paste is sticky enough just insert it straight into the centre of the gum paste. Make sure to maintain that ball shape for the centre and then again twiddle it onto the wire so it's secure at the base and pull off any excess. Use a palette knife or an alternative tool to make two lines going through the centre so you have a cross. And that's it, set it to one side to dry. I'll show you two methods to texture, either using the veining tool or the gem veining tool. Roll out your gum paste to be fairly thin, then cut out your hydrangea using either your first size petal cutter or the template that I've provided. If you're using a hydrangea cutter, make sure it's cut out cleanly. If you're using my template, then use a scalpel or sharp knife to cut out the flower. Place the hydrangea onto a foam pad and begin to thin out the edges using a ball tool. Method one for texturing the petal using the gem frilling stick. Rest the petal against your index finger and then roll the stick um, textured end against the petal and do that for every single petal. Lightly glue the base of the centre and then gradually and carefully thread the wire through the centre of the hydrangea flower. To get the flower to stick to the centre, pinch the petals in one direction and then the other direction. This will also shape the petals as well. Use your fingers to further shape the petals so they look really lovely and natural. Have some of the petals literally maybe going up, some going down, some twisting to one side so they just have a really natural look. The other method for texturing the petal is using the straight vein into, just do straight lines across each of the petals. Add the centre to the flower in exactly the same way, add a small amount of glue to the base, thread it through and then shape the petals to make it look natural. You can choose to skip this stage but I like to dust the flowers just to bring them further to life. So I'm using a vegan friendly dust from Edible Art in Spring Green and it's really just a light dust over the surface just to kind of bring out some of the texture on the petals and just bring them to life and again make them look further um, more natural. Before finally arranging the hydrangeas, I like to bring them into groups of either three to five flowers um, per group. Mix the flower sizes, so in one group maybe a small, medium, a large or small, two mediums and a large, something like that so it just makes it look more interesting. Use some half width white florist tape to tape each group in together. When all the flower groupings are taped together, we can then do the hydrangea arrangement. Now the hydrangea grows in like a 
ball shape um, arrangement. So just begin to bring the flowers together and see which flowers sit where. Now don't overthink this, just see and look to see what looks more natural. If you need to look at a photograph or if you have some hydrangeas, look at how they also grow. Now I've actually mixed up my colours because I've got three shades of apple green here. So I've mixed the lights, the darks and the mid shade green together just to make it more of an interesting final arrangement for these hydrangea flowers. Make sure to take the hydrangea flowers along the way in the middle using some half width white florist tape. Hydrangeas look better when there's lots of them and arranged into these rounded florets, but they're really easy to make so you can get a production run going. Hydrangeas also come in a variety of colours so you can allow your imagination to run wild. I've also added some hydrangea leaves to mine and the leaf is also on the template as well. As always, if you make any of my tutorials or these beautiful hydrangea flowers, I would love to see your work. So send it to me either on Instagram or Facebook or either through my blog as well. I've got lots of other sugar flower and cake tutorials and also a sugar flower playlist. So don't forget to check them out. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be updated anytime I upload any new tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you soon.